guys thank you for tuning into my channel my name is yadrissa today i'm going to show you guys these beetlejuice halloween nail art um hand painted nail art that i did today um this is going to be a detailed tutorial step by step i'm going to show you all the products used and i'm going to show you how i got the 3d effect on my nails and also how i got my nails to glow in the dark so just stay tuned if you're curious on how i created this nail set um it did take me a while to create this set so as always i just like to get straight into my videos i don't like to talk for too long so let's just get straight into it so this is a close-up of the nails how they look on my actual card that i sent out my press ons on so i was just giving you guys a close-up of that glow in the dark effect so these are the nails that I'm going to be using today. These are my 3XL nail tips, square tips. And I'm going to be using this today for today's video. I did want to use, I do like to use my extra, extra, extra long nail tips when I'm creating certain nail art because it gives you more space to be able to create your designs on the nail. So what I'm going to start off doing first is I'm going to paint the base color the background color for each nail first and then you know shortly after we're going to go on to the nail art so for this first nail, i'm going to be painting that nail white and i'm going to be the, using my gel polish from beetles and this is the white color and after i finish painting this nail, i'm going to put it in my uv lamp for 60 seconds to dry and cure now for this nail, i'm going to be using my beetles purple um, gel polish but this is a jelly polish this is a purple jelly polish so it has that translucent effect i did go over this nail two times um and then cure it for 60 seconds each time so now for this nail i'm going to mix that black and white gel polish from beetles as well and i'm going to create that gray color because i do not have a gray gel polish so i'm just creating my own gel polish by mixing those two colors together using my dialing tool to mix those colors together and then I'm going to apply that to this nail see this nail is going to be my tombstone nail so that's why I needed that gray color so that's why I just went in to create one instead of not being a being able to create that nail at all because I don't have a color I like to mix certain colors so this is that this looks like a, um, kind of like a lime green to me. This is also from Beetle's Gel Polish. So all of the polishes that I am going to be using is gel polish. I only use gel polish here on my channel. Um, this, I don't find anything wrong with regular nail polish, but I just like to use my gel polish. So I'm playing this nail with that neon green. And then I'm gonna cure for 60 seconds. So um, I'm not sure if you guys are new here or if you are a returning subscriber, but if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for tuning in to another one of my videos. I hope you enjoy um, my content here that I share on my platform on YouTube. And if you are a new subscriber or if you are new visiting my channel, welcome to my channel. Um, I hope you guys learn a lot here or if you're just here to enjoy the content, I hope you guys are enjoying this content. This is going to be my Halloween series where I create different nail sets for the month of october so this is where we are and i have created some other sets that i have done already for halloween so if you haven't done already if you have not done so already then make sure you go ahead and check out some of my other halloween videos that i have created here on my channel so for this first nail what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be creating that pin stripe effect and this is the nail that's going to be the black and white nail basically and this nail is also going to have the drips on it but they are going to be green so i'm using my liner brush and i'm using i believe this is a 25 um mm liner brush i wanted to go in with this brush because it is very long and it helps me get those precise long straight lines um, I do have pretty much a steady hand, so it's easy for me to create those lines just as long as I take my time. So if anybody is wondering how I created that effect, this is what I'm using to create this nail. So as I said in my previous videos for my 
Halloween um, series that I'm doing here on my channel. I am very much excited for Halloween. I do have a lot more videos coming as far as for me creating Halloween sets. And if anyone is interested in me doing a dedicated video to a certain theme or character for Halloween, if you leave it down in the comment section below, I will be sure to create a dedicated set of nails, personal nails, to um, whatever character or theme or movie for Halloween. If you guys want me to create that here on my platform, just let me know. So now this is the nail that I am going to be doing, to, um, excuse me, making for my grave. So this nail, I am just writing my nail art here and I'm just writing um here lies beetlejuice so i'm just going in with my small liner brush and i'm trying to draw excuse me i was just trying to write here lies beetlejuice on this nail and i was trying to take my time because when i was trying to paint it on with the liner brush it was really really hard to do so I was just trying to move as slow as possible and then try to put less product on my brush so that a lot of product does not come out when I'm trying to create my letters for this nail. So again, this is my tombstone nail and I'm going to be right in here lies Beetlejuice. Um, this is a throwback movie, a older movie. And I remember this movie from when I was younger. So um, I am in, we are in, you know, October. So I was just trying to think of some ideas and characters and old movies and Halloween movies. And this one came to mind. So that's where I got this inspired set from as far as just creating a set of nails dedicated to Beetlejuice. So if anyone is curious, I do sell my press on nails. Um, I do have an Instagram page called Pretty Press On Plug as well. Um, that is where you can place your order if anybody wants to um, purchase a custom set of press on nails. I can do pretty much any type of nail and any type of hand painted design, any color, any 3D art and glow effect to nails as well as any type of bling and accessories and charms. So if you're interested, um, check me out on Pretty Press On Plug, Pretty underscore Press On underscore Plug on Instagram, Facebook, and on TikTok, and of course here on YouTube. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you are just um, stopping by, as I said before, and don't forget to hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I upload my new videos here on my channel. Um, so you're notified when you know the new ones are posted on here i don't have a set time date um that i post here on my channel um i do want to start um maybe trying to make some type of schedule i have said that before and maybe a couple of my previous videos but i have not done so um yet i just really um like to just upload as soon as i like finish editing i just really like to upload so i don't really like to wait to put out my content i just like to just go ahead and just create and then upload for you guys here on youtube so now for this now what i'm doing is i am using my um this is like a moldable acrylic so you can mold it into whatever shape design that you want and then you can, um, when you put it inside of your UV lamp to dry, it dries like a hard acrylic nail. That's how it dries. So I wanted to do a 3D snake for this nail set. So that is what I'm using here to create my um, my 3D nail. I did have a reference photo um, for the snake and I was going back and looking back and forth at that as I was creating my nail. So this is how the nail looks after um, I have put it in my UV lamp. It is hard now. It is a hard acrylic. So now I'm just going in with my white Beatles gel polish and I'm just painting that whole snake with that white gel polish. And I am going to put it in my UV lamp to cure and dry for 60 seconds. Um, this snake is going to be black and white. It does have a little bit of red and green as well. So I'm going to do one color at a time. After I finish one color, I'm going to cure it in my lamps. 60 seconds continue with my next color cure and so on and so forth between every color I cure in my UV lamp because I don't want the colors to smudge I don't want them to blend or bleed onto each other in any type of way so that's why I like to do it that way so now I'm creating the eyes and I'm using my red gel polish by Beatles as well and I'm just going to be creating that eye with that dotting tool I'm using the end of my dotting tool to create that circle 
that is going to be the eyes. And now I'm going in with my same green um, gel polish from Beatles as well. And I'm going to be just outlining where the mouth is going to be just to separate it because this snake has two heads. Um, if you guys are familiar with the, media, with the movie, excuse me, the snake has two heads. It has a big head and it has a little snake head that comes out. So that is why I was trying to separate between that nail, previous nail. So now for this nail, what I'm doing is I'm going to be going in and I'm just going to be painting this whole nail white. This is going to be the base color for this nail. And for this nail, I wanted to do... Um, um, I forgot the name of this thing, but it's like a swirl. Um, it's supposed to mimic like someone being in a daze or in a trance or something like that. So this is the nail that is going to be um, that I'm doing that effect on. And I'm using my black gel polish from Beatles as well to create this effect. Um, I did um, speed up that clip, but after I did um, paint that nail, with the background base color with that white I did cure for 60 seconds because I know that my my videos sometimes look like I'm just continuing to draw on my nails after I finish one step but I just cut out the um you know the times where I am curing you know it's YouTube world we making everything fast and convenient so the video is not you know dragged on too long so I'm just creating those lines and I did go back after this, after I put this nail in the lamp first and to let it dry, I did go back and create lines in between these lines that I have here because I wanted the lines to be much more closer and so that is what I'm doing here. I felt like it was just a lot of space and I just could have, you know, just made it closer. So this is the nail that I'm going to be drawing my Beetlejuice face on and i'm just starting off with that black gel polish from beetles and i'm using my fine liner brush and this is a medium fine liner brush and i am drawing out my beetlejuice face first and after i draw the outline with my black gel polish and then i'm going to cure the outline and then i'm going to go in with each color cure between each color and just continue to um color in this beetlejuice basically so let me know what you guys think of this video um, in the comment section down below. Do you guys enjoy um, my content here on this channel as well? What do you think of this set of nails that I created? Um, I try to be as creative as possible when I'm creating nails and I try to do things that I um, have not seen or done before. I do have um some content where i get inspired by other nail artists as well and when i do post any type of content that is inspired by another um um nail artist i do like to credit that nail artist because you know it is their creativity and i'm just admiring their work and um yeah and i just would like to recreate it or just put my own spin on on to it excuse me and post it here on my channel for you guys to see but this set is all um hand painted it's not inspired by anyone um and everything that you see done here is off of the top of my brain and how i wanted to create this look so yeah i'm just showing you guys this is my yellow gel polish that i'm going to be using and this is from beetles as well this is rosalyn and that was the green shade this is a purple um gel polish by beetles and that was a green gel polish by rosalyn gel polish as well so i'm using the between rosalyn gel polish and beetles nail polish for this video again these are all gel polishes and they all um need to be cured in the lamp after each um after i paint each nail and each design nail art whatever the case may be um again i don't i don't like to use the regular nail polish because I don't want to wait in between to dry to wait for the whole nail to dry for me to continue on with my nail law it's just much more easier for me to just cure it in between and just continue on um I am doing this um video sped up as well because I wanted it to um to show you guys how long it actually takes me to draw each of the nail art on each nail. 
so I did start to speed up the video because it is taking um, it does take a long time when you are doing a any type of hand painted nail art because it's just so precise and so many different colors that you have to use and I like to take my time because I am trying to draw it to the best of my abilities I'm not any any type of way a a, a um a drawing artist or <clears throat> I'm not that well at drawing but I'm just you know self-taught and I just draw to the best of my abilities so when I am creating each nail I like to take my time and it also takes about two hours to create um, my nail sets as well so again this is sped up and this is just me just completing the nail and if you are, um, I know when I do the intro to my video, I say, hi, my name is Yadrissa. And, you know, welcome to Pretty Press On Plug. So Yadrissa is my actual name. And I also have another channel here on YouTube if you guys are curious um, to what I look like. Because I don't show my face on this page or on my YouTube, um, excuse me, or on my Facebook, TikTok, or on my um instagram page for pretty press on plug i don't necessarily show my face because i just like to keep it dedicated just to my nail art my personal nails and just me posting any type of nail content on my page this is the pretty excuse me this is the finished product that's how the nail looked previously um when it's not in the dark just a close-up and here's how the nail looks but again check out my other channel i have on youtube it's called yadrissa and I hope you enjoyed the content here. Check out my other social media platforms as well. Enjoy. Have a good day. Bye.